there. <laughs> Would it be asking too much of you to take care of a situation like that before the dog goes wizard woo all over me like that? <laughs> Go home, boy! Go home, boy! Go home! <laughs> to do that a little sooner. When a situation arises that is interrupting a golfer's concentration, you take care of it right now. You see in them big tournaments when them photographers are clicking away, the golfer always just has to shut up. The caddies are supposed to take care of that, don't you know? So when it arises, you take care of it right now. You don't do wait. Right. Yeah. Stand over there. Right. Oh, I know in the shot. Do the green. That's all we got to do. Concentration. That's the important thing. Looks like the sand again. Apparently is. Well, I want to keep me moving right along here, so we're just going to play through this foursome here. I'm sure they won't mind that. Bonehead. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Wonderful, boom boom. Well, as you can see, we've just about got this hole wrapped up because we are on the green. So, we'll be... <laughs> ...using the putter. Well, this is it, the moment of truth. We're on the dance floor, as they say. <laughs> as you can see, I've only got about a foot putt there, so, uh, Leonard, you want to mark the ball, clean it, put the ball back there, and I'll just slam her into the old hole. <laughs> right. Remember, the most important part of probably the game itself is the green. You see, there's no sense in hitting the ball up here in two and then three-putting the green. So what... Uh, have you got a pencil? Why would I have a pencil for what? So I can mark the ball. You don't mark the ball. What you do is you take a ball mark. You put it behind the ball. You pick up the ball. You clean off with the ball. You put the ball back down there by the ball mark, and then I hit it into the hole. You got that? All right. <coughs> As I said, once we get onto the green, that's the most important part of the game. And once you get on here, you should line up with that shot. Make sure that it uh, doesn't break it too much to the left, or it doesn't break it too much to the right like that. So we... Have what? we got a ball mark? I don't have the ball mark. The caddy has it, the ball mark. You have it, the ball mark. If you don't have a ball mark, take a coin, take a dime, take a penny, put it behind the ball, pick up the ball, clean up the ball, put it back down there where the money is. You got that? All right. Like I said, <coughs> patience is very important in the golf to you. So, once you got the dad ball lined up, making not sure which way that the green goes, to the left or to the right, then you line up over the ball. You should also feel the grass. Make sure that it's not the wet, because if it's wet, the ball travels in a different way than it does when it's dry. So, once you got that ball and the grass all worked out, it's got the way that the green the breaks it to the right or to the left, then you're ready to line up your putt. Basically, what you want to do is get right over the ball and get, make, make sure that the, you got the, the ball all lined up, and you see if it goes to the, to the right, Party the left. Uh, and to make sure if you're near an ocean, the ball always goes towards the ocean, so... Uh... <laughs> That's a great, Leonard. Why don't I just catch a bus and come down there and try to sink that 40? Right. <laughs> now, uh, keep it all elbow in. Good. <laughs> Could you move just a little, please? Right. <clears throat> the other way? All right. Now, nice 
say easy stroke elbows in. Just the What's <laughs> happened? <laughs> Now, down to the other end and hit that driver. <laughs> Just uh, try to get your concentration here. <laughs> Over. Heel. Over here. <laughs> That's a good boy. Do you want to go take the flag out of the hole for me? <clears throat> now, once you have your... Yeah. <clears throat> Leonard, let me see your shoe. I got it. If you only had both oars in the water. <laughs> Give me that. Sometimes it's going to take you a few more strokes than you actually planned on, but it all works out in the end, so. <laughs> well, there was an invigorating day out there in the old building, too. Well, I'll tell you, it's that the one good shot that you make every day that'll make you want to come right back and play another Swift 18 tomorrow. <laughs> tell you what, we'll talk about the whole game up there at the old 19th hole. Now, if you excuse me just a moment, I'll be up there and join you in just a moment. Nineteenth hole, boy. This is the place where you talk about the, those good ones and you try to analyze those are bad shots. But most of all, it's just a place for guys to, to get together and just to talk and have a good old-fashioned bull session about the game it's to sell. <laughs> right, Leonard? Want cheese dip? <laughs> cheese dip? No, I don't want any cheese dip. I wanted the right. bull session. That's what they wanted. Well, add up at the score. All right. <laughs> Forget the cheese dip and add up with this car! Well, I'll see her. Well, you got five and seven and twelve. And twenty-two. Eight, thirty. One. Thirty-nine. Yeah, you got thirty-two points on the first three holes alone. 32, 6, 38. Now, goodbye for now. Uh, I'll let anyone get the equipment and uh, I'll tell the folks if you right. want to. Uh, to join us uh, right here on the old first tee, just get your tee off time. Go down to the pro shop. And, ah! <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of Dirk Dorf, we'd like to thank you for joining us at the beautiful North Ranch Country Club for Dorf on Golf. In the future, look for Dirk to bring you other helpful hints with Dorf, such as Dorf on Polo, Dorf's Hang Gliding and You, and Dorf's Hunting the Great Whites. <laughs>